This Windsor couple says their vacation was ruined after Air Canada lost their dialysis machine. The airline says it doesn't know what happened to the device. It's Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. We're going to bring you the latest on what the couple plans to do next. CBC Windsor News Live at 6 starts right now. This is CBC Windsor News. Good evening, I'm Arms Boom and Leg. For those of you watching on Facebook Live and Twitter, please feel free to comment and interact with us right through this newscast. Well, we've all heard of airlines losing people's luggage, leaving people without their clothes or even belongings. But for a Windsor couple who was flying to Copenhagen for their 50th wedding anniversary, the airline lost something much more serious and it could have cost the husband his life. Let's go now to CBC's Sanjay Maru who has more on this story. So Sanjay, what exactly went wrong on this flight? Well, Arms, back in June, Tom Jacobson flew to Copenhagen with his wife. It was for a 10-day cruise spanning from Scandinavia. They were even going to check out St. Petersburg in Russia. And it's important to note, Tom suffers from bone cancer. He also suffers from kidney failure, so he needs to be hooked up to a dialysis machine for about nine hours a day. And as a frequent traveler, he also carries a portable dialysis unit as well. So when they went to check into Windsor Airport, the employee from Air Canada Canada tells them that they're going to assure them that portable unit will arrive in Copenhagen safely. They even put it in a suitcase with labels marked priority and fragile. So what happens when the couple arrives in Copenhagen and they get to baggage claim, excuse me, like everybody else, the case is there, but there is no portable dialysis unit found inside. Now a hospital in Co Copenhagen was able to hook up Jacobson with a replacement device, but since dialysis machines need to be catered to specific individuals, it wasn't the easiest for him to use. It's a program that's designed for me. So when the, doc, the hospital called me about what my program is, I said, I have absolutely no idea. I know it takes nine hours. I use certain fluids in the machine to cleanse me during the night, but I don't set it up. I have no idea how to set it up. I just read the numbers in the morning. And we reached out to Air Canada for comment. They say they deeply regret the incident and they were able to contact a hospital in Copenhagen to get them that replacement device. But the couple disputes that. They say it wasn't Air Canada at all that had anything to do with getting them that replacement. In fact, it was the company's, the manufacturer of that device, Baxter. So with the couple now back in Windsor, as seen on with Tony on Windsor Morning, what has Air Canada done to remedy the situation? Well, not enough arms, according to the Jacobsons. Air Canada has offered the couple a $1,000 travel voucher, but Jacobson says that that's no good. He would need to use that within the year. So that offer from Air Canada has been rejected. At the end of the day, he just wants Air Canada to take more responsibility for the situation. And really, he just wants to know what happened to his device. Upon our return home, I even received a call from the chief of security of Air Canada as asking me to again describe this machine and the box. And I said, it's the size of a regular suitcase. And I said, how could you lose it? It's got fragile and priority marked all over it. And normally those priority bags are really watched and in transit. And he says, we have no idea how this disappeared. I said, this is like 20 kilograms in weight. And this story went live on CBC Windsor's website earlier this morning, and we have received a ton of comments, a ton of feedback. One person telling me that he has had his own share of bad experiences when trying to fly with his portable dialysis unit at the airport. Airport, excuse me. He says he's had to argue with ticket agents at the gate to allow him to have that device on the plane. As for Jacobson, I just spoke to him a few hours ago. He tells me him and his wife are pursuing legal action against Air Canada. Arms. Thank you, CBC's Sanjay Maru with that report.